Hello and welcome to a short webinar by the Fulbright Commission in Brussels. Today we would like to introduce you to the Fulbright program and the grants available for Belgian and Luxembourgish citizens in the 2018-2019 application cycle. In this webinar, we'll discuss the history of the Fulbright program, provide an overview of the study and research grants available for Belgian and Luxembourgish citizens, and introduce you to the application process. In September 1945, the freshman senator from Arkansas, J. William Fulbright, introduced a bill in the U.S. Congress that called for the use of proceeds from the sales of surplus war property to fund the promotion of international goodwill through the exchange of students in the fields of education, culture, and science. One year later, President Harry S. Truman signed the Fulbright Act into law. The first exchanges between the United States and Belgium occurred two years later in 1948. Today, 70 years after its creation, Fulbright is the most widely recognized and prestigious international exchange program in the world, supported for more than half a century by the American people through an annual appropriation from the U.S. Congress and by the people of partner nations. The program, working with universities, schools, binational Fulbright commissions, government agencies, non-governmental organizations, and the private sector, actively seeks out individuals of achievement and potential who represent the full diversity of their respective societies and selects nominees through open, merit-based competitions. Since the program began in 1946, more than 370,000 Fulbrighters have participated in the Fulbright program, coming from and going to more than 160 countries. The Fulbright Commission in Brussels offers grants for Belgians and Luxembourgers to study, lecture, and conduct research in the United States. Available grants include study and research grants for students and scholars, the Foreign Language Teaching Assistantship Program through which young teachers and language assistants can teach French, Dutch, or German at a U.S. university, the study of the United States Institutes for secondary school teachers and current undergraduate students, and even grants for mid-career professional journalists. I'd like to invite my colleagues to tell you a little more about the grants available. The Fulbright Commission offers grants for Belgian and Luxembourgish students who will be pursuing graduate study or research in the United States. This usually takes the form of a master's degree program or up to nine months of research as part of an ongoing doctoral degree. Grants are also available at the postgraduate level for scholars, that is, applicants who already have completed their PhD, to lecture or conduct research at an accredited U.S. institution. While most students apply for funding for a full academic year with a minimum stay of four months, scholars may propose a research stay with a duration as short as three months. Through the Fulbright Foreign Language Teaching Assistant Program, Belgians and Luxembourgers are placed at an American university to teach French, German, or Dutch. Applicants should either be students in or have studied languages, secondary education, literature and related fields or else upper secondary teachers of German, Dutch or English with fewer than three years of professional experience. Successful candidates will have a demonstrated interest in educational and international exchange, plans to teach at the secondary level upon return and high English proficiency. This program lasts for the entirety of the school year or about nine months and students are expected to live on campus and integrate into the university community. The Fulbright Commission administers two unique summer programs for student leaders and for secondary educators. These study of the U.S. Institutes are commonly known as SUSE programs. Study of the U.S. Institutes for student leaders are five to six week academic programs for foreign undergraduate students between the ages of 18 and 25 designed to improve their understanding of the United States and to develop their leadership skills. Institutes include a four-week academic residency consisting of interactive classroom activities, discussions, lectures, readings, site visits, and workshops, one week of educational travel to a different region of the United States, leadership skills building activities, community service, and opportunities to interact with their American peers on a college campus. Each institute includes approximately 20 participants from selected countries. Study of the U.S. Institutes for Secondary Educators are postgraduate level academic programs for secondary educators designed to strengthen curricula and to improve the teaching about the United States in academic institutions abroad. These institutes are comprised of a five-week academic residency and one to two weeks of educational travel to a different region of the United States. During the institutes, scholars engage in rigorous academic coursework and panel discussions, 
interact and establish networks with American scholars, meet with experts in respective disciplines, visit civic institutions, and in some cases, participate in research symposia and conferences. Lastly, the Fulbright Commission and the University of Missouri are offering a scholarship for a Belgian or Luxembourger citizen with at least five years of experience in journalism. Between mid-August and mid-December, grantees receive the opportunity to audit two classes at the Missouri Journalism School and to participate in guest lectures and roundtable discussions with students and scholars. Grantees are allowed to choose seminars and courses to audit from, a list of available courses offered during the semester. Their interest areas and availability of spaces will determine final placement. Grantees receive $3,000 a month for four months, plus an additional one-time travel stipend. Why apply for a Fulbright grant? Fulbrighters receive a scholarship toward their tuition and fees, living expenses, and other related costs. Beginning in the 2018-2019 academic year, this amount will be set at $2,000 per month for students, that is, grantees without a PhD, and $3,000 per month for scholars, that is, postdoctoral researchers, visiting professors, and some mid-career professionals. Fulbright grantees also benefit from J-1 visa sponsorship, as well as J-2 visa sponsorship for accompanying dependents a pre-departure orientation in Brussels, and a $1,000 travel stipend to defray the costs of traveling to and from the United States. While in the U.S., Fulbrighters receive sickness and accident insurance and are invited to participate in in-country programming. This includes gateway orientations upon arrival in the United States for students and enrichment seminars throughout the grant period, both of which allow grantees to visit another part of the U.S. and to interact with Fulbright grantees from around the world. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, Fulbrighters receive the prestigious title of Fulbright Grantee and membership in a global alumni network. In order to be eligible for the Fulbright program, applicants must have Belgian or Luxembourgish citizenship. All applicants, except those to the study of the United States Institutes for Student Leaders, must have a minimum of a bachelor's degree, and successful applicants will be able to demonstrate a record of academic excellence, generally through an annual distinction or a grand distinction awarded at the end of the degree. English proficiency is also required, and the entire application process is completed in English. In a separate but simultaneous process, applicants to the Fulbright program should seek admission to or affiliation with an accredited U.S. university, research institution, or think tank. The Fulbright Commission in Brussels is not responsible for arranging these affiliations. Applications to the Fulbright program are completed entirely online, via a link that will appear on the Fulbright website after September 15th. Applicants should fill out the online application and prepare the necessary documents, including letters of recommendation, transcripts, and essays. The deadline for Belgian and Luxembourgish citizens to apply to the Fulbright program is noon on December 1st. Late or incomplete applications will not be considered. Top-ranked applicants are invited to a short in-person interview with members of the Selections Committee. These interviews are held in Brussels for Belgian citizens and in Luxembourg City for Luxembourgish citizens and typically occur in the last week of January. In mid-February, the Fulbright Commission begins notifying selected candidates who will still need to be approved by the Foreign Fulbright Scholarship Board before their selection can be finalized. Grantees submit paperwork for their visas and prepare for departure during the spring. While some grantees may leave as early as the end of July, most will depart for the United States in August or September. Applicants to the Fulbright Foreign Student Program must submit the following components an Americanized resume or CV, the transcript from the most recent degree, two essays, the study research objectives essay, and the personal statement. The former should provide a clear and detailed description of your study research objectives and your reasons for wanting to pursue them. The latter is a narrative statement describing how you have achieved your current goals. It can include information about education, practical experience, special interests, and career plans. You should also describe any significant factors that have influenced your educational or professional development and explain your existing practical experience. Remember that the Fulbright program is about mutual understanding and explain very clearly in the application how you would carry out this mission. Applicants must also provide three letters of recommendation, a writing sample in the case of doctoral students, and must remember to upload all documents via the online application system and to complete the 12-page online application form. Please note that the Fulbright Commission in Brussels does not require standardized test scores, 
like the GRE or TOEFL. However, if you have taken these exams and would like to provide your scores, you are welcome to do so. Applicants to the Fulbright Visiting Scholar Program must submit the following components. A CV, the transcripts and diploma from the most recent degree, a three to five page single spaced project statement, a one to three page bibliography of references, a letter of invitation from the host institution, three letters of recommendation, and scans of passport and any previous J visas held. All of this must be uploaded via the online application system and the 14 page online application form must also be completed. For more information about the Fulbright program, please visit the website of the Fulbright Commission in Brussels at www.fulbright.be. Program officers are available to respond to questions about the program via phone or email and often hold outreach events at local universities and university colleges.